Hey guys, how the hell are you? Time for an all new unbiased gear review on this. The LTD by ESP M7HT Baritone Black Metal. So first, let's go over the specs of this instrument. We have a three-piece maple neck through body construction with alder body wings, a Makassar ebony fretboard with 24 extra jumbo frets. We have LTD locking tuners. We have a hip shot fixed bridge, a master volume with push pull for coil split, and we have a Seymour Duncan blackened black winter bridge humbucker. So first, before we go any further, shout out to Brammer the Hammer for loaning me this thing so that I could do a review on it. Thank you so much, man. It's a fucking awesome instrument. But now let's get into that. So one of the first things that you'll notice about this thing is that it is just murdered out as far as the appointments go. It is black on black on black. Literally the only thing that's not black about this is the frets the screws on the bridge, and the lumen lace side dots that this thing has. Everything else is just pitch fucking black, and it's meant to be pitch fucking black. It is made for the metal, and that's pretty much A-OK -okay in my book, which definitely behooves us doing a review on it. Taking a look at the uh, build quality. So first of all, fret edges are nice and crisp. There's literally no sharpness to be found whatsoever. A nice rolled off fretboard edge. Um, if anything can be called out, there are a couple of spots on the fretboard where there are some obvious tool marks present. Um, not quite sanded down fully uh, to make it nice and crisp looking. Also, the nut could stand to be a little flusher. Besides that, everything else is looking pretty nice with this thing. Taking a look at this beautiful satin black finish, there's not any overspray to be found anywhere on this thing whatsoever. It's just nice and clean and even on literally the entire guitar. Looking pretty damn good. Kind of interesting, I, when I looked this up and I found out that this was Makassar Ebony, 
that almost broke my heart a little bit because Makassar Ebony typically is very, very streaky. And you can definitely tell that this does have some cool streakage going on in it. But it has definitely been dyed a little bit so that that streakage isn't quite so present. Then again, I mean, it, it could be something where this particular piece of Makassar Ebony isn't quite as figured. Uh, so it was deemed a little bit more appropriate for a fretboard. Whatever, it's cool. I just... I really kind of have a soft spot for Makassar Ebony as far as like being a top wood. It just looks so killer. Um, but otherwise, taking a look at how this instrument plays, the neck profile is a very, very nice thin U shape, which is extremely comfortable in the hand. Basically, if you have any experience with shred guitars, this is going to feel right at home for you. The neck pocket and the heel feels exceptional very very easy access to the upper frets if you're gonna solo on this thing um i really like how bare bones basic this thing is it's just a bridge humbucker a master volume and that's fucking it this is one of those things that you're just kind of meant to go for the throat with and uh well with that let's go into the tone demo so you can hear how this thing sounds because go for the throat is kind of definitely appropriate. So when first demoing this thing and kind of getting a feel for it, one of the things that I definitely noticed about it is that it really seemed to appreciate being tuned down ever so slightly. So not keeping it in standard, bringing it down a half step to a B flat standard, really just kind of opened things up and made it just kind of breathe fucking molten fire. Um, it really does quite a bit considering it is a bare bones basic instrument with just the lone bridge humbucker um tons of different metal styles on tap here <laughs> So, I mean, pretty much anything you could want to do in the realm of heavy music, the classic metal, the thrash metal, the black, the death, whatever, it kind of does it all. It runs the gamut and does all of them equally well. This blackened black winter, which by the way, the reason why it's called a blackened black winter is just because it's a shop floor custom that has a black logo on it to coincide with the overall aesthetic of the instrument but 
you know, in the past when I've played instruments with this, I've always felt that uh, the Black Winter was shrill, um, not necessarily very meaty sounding. And, you know, I'm actually really pleasantly surprised by how fucking brutal it is sounding in this instrument. But, you know, it's super chunky. There's plenty of note definition and clarity. And I am just getting the brutes out of this thing. It sounds killer. <laughs> Just so inspiring to play on. I mean, the riffs literally pour out of this thing. Uh, I, 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 I love how this thing sounds. It is just oozing metal mojo. So overall, my final thought with regards to this instrument. This is a rather nice instrument that kind of surprised me in all the right ways, especially as far as the tone went. Because this is probably the best I have ever heard a Seymour Duncan Black Winter sound. And this is an alder-bodied instrument with a maple neck. This thing should be just screaming brightness. But no, if anything, just super articulate, chunky when you lay into it, which is kind of how it's supposed to be. Just really, really exceptional tone. Great playability. Um, all in all, I would actually call this a fantastic deal for the money. And if you're looking for something that you can use for a variety of different metal applications, this is actually a surprisingly versatile instrument within the realm of metal. It, it may be called the black metal, but you can use it for that. You can use it for Gojira type stuff, thrash, death, pretty much anything you want you can use this and get the brutes. But Arnold, what are you drinking today? I am so glad that you asked. Let's go to the beer fridge and let's find out. Today, from the Lost Abbey, I am having Serpent's Stout, which is an imperial stout that is 11% alcohol by volume. I have had many Lost Abbeys in the past and I honestly have loved every single one. So I have very high hopes for this one as well. Pours pitch fucking black with a rocky tan head. Isn't that thing a beauty? Mmm. Very roasty in the aroma. Very malty. Hmm. A little, a little smoky. Just a little bit. Mmm. Much more smoky in the flavor. Uh, a little bit nutty as well. Like I'm definitely getting like some kind of roasted uh, nut flavor in there too. Definitely a little bit of dark chocolate, alcohol bitterness that's hitting you in the back of the cheeks. Mmm. Um, Very good. Mmm. Very complex. That is a goddamn solid stout. Just complex enough to warrant it being a much better than average stout, but at the same time, not quite rich and complex enough to be like upper echelon, uh, like Bourbon County or anything like that. Still, goddamn solid beer. I would definitely recommend this. This is fantastic. 
So that's it for me. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Like this video. Subscribe to this channel. There's tons of more metal guitar oriented content to come.